Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest episode on the Scan Tool Network. In this video, as you probably worked out, we're going to be looking at 21 things or everything you basically need to know about the iCarsoft OP version 1.0 kit. Um, so we've got 21 questions, commonly asked questions that we feel may benefit you if you are uh, interested in this tool. So we'll get into number one first of all, and it is what is the iCarsoft OP version 1.0? So the OP version 1.0 kit is a diagnostic package which hooks up, uh, has an integrated screen, hooks up to the vehicle systems and the computer systems in your vehicle. And when it does that, it allows you to basically read faults and uh, reset fault codes, warning lights, service lights, things like that, and give you information about the vehicle that you previously wouldn't be able to get access to unless you had one of these tools. So where to buy it is the next question. There are a couple of places to buy it, but we know you'll always get a genuine package if you pick it up at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I will put a link below this video uh, to where you can buy this product. And also I'll put a link to the Amazon listing as well. Uh, we'll only link you to genuine products. There are fake and clone products on the market, unfortunately. Uh, we don't recommend going anywhere near those. Go to a trusted source, go to Diagnostic World, or go to the Amazon Amazon link in the description below this video. So how much is the tool? This is generally retailing at £99. Um, that's at the time of making this video right now. There may be some circumstances where you might find it for a little bit less or it might be a little bit more. That obviously depends on you know current exchange rates going across uh, different continents. Uh, but £99 is probably the going rate for this tool as we speak right now. Uh, which manufacturers are covered with this tool? It only covers Opel and Vauxhall vehicles. Uh, there are different packages out there which will allow you to diagnose Opel, Vauxhall and other manufacturers, but the OP version 1.0 can only ever diagnose and reset Vauxhall or Opel vehicles. Uh, what systems are covered with this tool? So we'll have a quick look at the screens here. If we click into diagnostics, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select our vehicle. So we'll come to uh, the vehicle coverage in a moment but for right now we're just going to go and select our vehicle of course is C 2004 and we select our specific engine code so the fault systems or the systems it will allow us access to is uh, the engine control module uh, the main systems are the engine control module the ABS system um, EPS electronic power steering SRS that's the airbag system and then a few other systems as well depending on what's actually installed in your vehicle so on this vehicle we've only got access to 12 systems if you had say a newer car from say 2015 uh, the chances are you'd probably get access to more systems because there are simply more systems installed to newer vehicles as opposed to this 2004 vehicle um, so the uh, what I'll do is actually while I've got you here I'll show you the vehicle coverage as well so we've got a list of uh, 43 potential so I'm just going to scroll through the list here and then we're back to where we started there so, uh, does it have any special functions, this tool? There are a number of professional diagnostic packages out there which can give you professional functions. This is more of a DIY tool, so it'll only give you one special function, uh, and the special function is the oil reset. As you can see here, oil reset. And um, so basically, if you've got like an oil inspection warning light on your dashboard, it allows you to go ahead and reset that. Uh, that's the only special function it will give you. Uh, next question is what information does it give you when a fault occurs so we've uh, luckily we've got a check engine light on this vehicle so I'm going to go in and show you exactly what information it will give you so if we go in if we go to our vehicle again so it's a Corsa C 2004 select the correct engine type and we manually select the engine control module sometimes does that from time to time just go back in again uh, read DTC so we've got P0130-004 and the fault description is oxygen sensor open circuit B1S1 so it gives us information to say that it's the oxygen sensor for bank one sensor one 
Um, if you were to get this information and you are still a little bit unsure as to what the fault was then um, the quick, easiest thing to do is just to really put this information into Google. The chances are if you're getting it, somebody else is getting it. There'll be lots of forum posts about this particular fault code. Uh, try it now as an example and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, so that is um, the fault there. Now while we're on here I'm just going to show you an example of this tool um, resetting that fault code as well. So if we go down to clear DTCs I'm going to click OK. When I click OK, just keep an eye on the check engine light there. And it's gone off there and we've got a fault here. Uh, sorry, a message here saying succeeded to clear DTCs, which means diagnostic trouble codes. Um, so is it touch screen? It can be easy to, to think that it's a touch screen, but it's not. You do need to use all of the buttons. Uh, the screen is not touch screen. Uh, what about updates for this tool? Updates for this tool are free for life. Some diagnostic packages, they will charge you. Uh, well, what they'll do is they'll give you the first year's updates for free, and after that, they will probably charge you um, a yearly update fee. Now, uh, you'll always get free updates with this tool. So long as you get a genuine package, either from Diagnostic World or the, uh, the Amazon link that I'm gonna put below, you'll always get free updates for life guaranteed. Uh, updating the tool is actually quite easy. You just plug it into your PC or your laptop, download a software program. All of the instructions are included in the box, so it's very easy to uh, download the correct program, hooks up with your tool, and then it'll load on the latest software to your tool. Um, how does it compare to the OP version 2.0? So this is the 1.0 obviously that I've got here. This is the OP version 2.0. I'll be doing a similar style video on the OP version 2.0, but in a nutshell, the OP version 2.0 does cost more, it costs about £150, but it does have more features. So it does everything that the OP version 1.0 does, but it also does additional functions like DPF regeneration, electronic parking brake, uh, steering angle sensor, uh, electronic throttle control, and a couple of others as well. So it does cost more, but it does have a few more functions and features. So that is how it compares. Obviously, it does look a little bit different as well, as you can see, but the essence, in essence, they both would have given the exact same information for that check engine light that we had right there. Uh, if you get help and if you need help and support for this tool, the what you need to do is basically contact your supplier. Um, you'll only get help and support from the people that you bought it from. So again, that's why it's, it comes down to, to you know, buying from a trusted source because if you're buying from an eBay seller who doesn't even know the product, then you're gonna get no help or support should you need it. Uh, but you'll get help and support from Diagnostic World providing your border there and also uh, the Amazon link as well providing you buy it through that link. Um, what else now? Can you print faults? You can't print faults directly from the tool. You can save information to a file which you can load onto your computer and you can print them that way. So it is, it's not really an easy way of doing it, but if you know, if you absolutely had to print this information off, then you could do that. But um, the, the instructions should give you information on how to do that. Uh, languages, let's have a quick look at the languages. If we go into the setup language, we've got English, German, Dutch, French, and Spanish. And so that's the instructions. Now with regards to the, uh, the actual box of the tool, I'm gonna show you, this is the box of this tool here. And what it comes with is a handy pouch, iCarsoft on it. And in there you'll find an instruction manual and booklet. Obviously, as well, you'll also get the tool and the connecting cable and also a USB cable as well to hook up to your computer. So is it easy to use? Well, as you've seen me sort of scrolling through the, uh, the, the menu system here, it's absolutely so easy to use and you really can't go wrong. You can't, you can't do any damage to any of these cars, that's for sure. Um, and would I recommend it to somebody with little or no experience? Well, honestly, that is who this is aimed at. It's aimed at people who uh, want to get a quick access to a fault code. Uh, you don't have to have any experience because it's very easy to just follow the menu system through. You can't you can't put you, you can't do anything wrong basically. Um, 
select your vehicle, select the system you want to diagnose, and there you go, you've got the fault codes right in front of you. Uh, there are a few other menus, so, so what about the other menu icons? Well, we've covered the diagnostics. Uh, oil reset is just for the oil inspection light, if you get a message in the center here. Uh, voltage gives you battery information, so you've got the minimums and the maximums, and also the live data. Um, you can, this here will allow you to diagnose and reset engine fault codes on other makes and models. So if you've got a, an, a Vauxhall or Opel vehicle, you can, down, you can diagnose all systems within the vehicle, but for other cars you can only download, uh, diagnose the engine fault. Uh, so this is diagnostic trouble code lookup, so it's, it's kind of like a database of fault codes. Um, you can review, if you're recording information, you can review some information. Uh, quick setup of the tool, you can put the beep on and off, you can clear data, set the language. A uh, little bit of help, a little bit of information about what this means, OBD2 and EOBD. And finally the about will give you the current software information. It'll also give you, you know, live data as well, so if you wanted to get some live data from your vehicle, which is quite common these days, in fact, because the, the engine systems have so many different parameters and little sensors involved in these engines that it can be quite uh, difficult to know exactly where the fault is. So if you go to data display, you can just select all, and if you click start, what we're getting here is live data from the actual vehicle. And you can get the live data as well as the vehicle is driving as well. And you can record the information um, if you are really quite advanced at looking for uh, these faults. So uh, another question we get is, does it double up as like a, a tablet, like an Android system? Uh, the answer is no, it, it's purely a diagnostic tool. It can't double up at all as a tablet or a, uh, you know, like a, an Android system where you can download apps on or anything like that. And uh, finally, the question we get is, how fast is delivery? Delivery is generally one to three working days, whether you get that on Diagnostic World or whether you get it through the Amazon link. Um, yeah, so one to three working days, uh, they'll ship it out, you know, the, the, very, the very next, or the, the, the same working day or the very next working day if it's like Saturday or Sunday when you buy it. But that's it. Uh, that's a nutshell, in a nutshell, 21 things. Um, or everything you need to know about the iCarsoft OP version 1.0 kit. Uh, it's a really handy tool for any, you know, any Vauxhall owner, a Vauxhall enthusiast, anyone who wants to look after the car really and, you know, take a bit of pride in the car and maybe give things a go themselves They don't really want to pay a lot of money giving the car to the garage, uh, then this tool is uh, perfect for your needs. So as I say, I'm going to put the links in the description below this video. Uh, you can also, you can pick it up at Diagnostic World, www.diagnostic-world.com or the Amazon link will be there as well. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.